Now, hello everyone. Uh, here is our twin T. I started a video to do the removing of the forms and uh, some of them were a little sticky. It just, I didn't want to make you watch 40 minutes of me struggling to get these things off. Especially this one that went in here. I ended up having to take a razor knife and go all the way down each side, this side and then on this side, and almost cut the board out. It took a while. Uh, these were stuck a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. Everything else came pretty much right off. Um, I've lightly sanded this. So there was a lot of casting flash on these corners. So I took all that off and uh, basically here is our twin I-beam. Uh, bear in mind these things are rough anyway, they finish them up on the job. So any of these little imperfections like that guy, that's where the, the little ball of the clamp was. Here's where I had the board, that little piece of board to clamp down and hold it. You can see that's not, didn't get filled in. <laughs> I've got a couple of chips here. You can see them. The good, the good thing is this stuff is easy to fix. I'm going to repair all of this. I probably won't show it when it's done because it's just going it, to, it's just real light repair. Uh, any of these little chips and stuff you just mix up a little bit of this stuff and put it on with something like a stiff piece of cardboard or something and what I do is if it's overfilled here I take my I take my exacto knife it's somewhere around here and if it's up above this, I just take this and I shave this off like this. And then just a light sand over it to smooth it out. And it's and you're done with the repair. It's It really is that easy to fix this stuff. Um, this corner, I may stick the wood back on here and hold one up here and then pour a little in there. So it'll settle into a nice corner. Uh, that's about the toughest part. I have that right there. I can just stick that on. And it'll reform this corner right here. And a little light sanding and it's a done deal. The next time you see this, it's going to be hooked up to that up there. See if I can get a better shot of it. Yeah, that. There's uh, two of these on each side. They're gonna grip the two hooks on each side. And yeah, I even made them out of a, it's actually an old aluminum clipboard. <laughs> I just cut the pieces out, shape them, and drill the holes in them, and put those cool looking shackles you can buy on eBay all right everybody I just wanted to show you the finished product uh, it came out pretty level I did a very light sanding it didn't didn't take too much I could do a little bit more and it'll probably be even better but that's our that's our tea um, I'm going to say this thing probably weighs about three or four pounds. I should probably go weigh it and see. It'll be enough weight to tension the crane, which is really all I'm trying to do is tension the crane. So that's what our twin T looks like. Nice sturdy twin T. This thing is tough. However, it is kind of delicate. Be careful taking off your forms. 
these things chip easy it's just plaster as you can see I got plenty to fix but luckily it's real easy to do mix up a little bit and and put it on like you would putty and, and it dries back the same color all right guys there's our do-it-yourself precast twin T bridge truss uh, parking garage truss they, they use this thing for so many things good luck on yours stay safe have a good one you guys next thing we'll be unboxing a CC8800 should be here in the next day or two thanks guys